A flurry of clears, but uh, the penultimate stroke of the match. There it is, just again not finding enough depth on the Koreans' opponent's side of the court. Oh, this is impressive indeed from the 19-year-old. And there is a significant gap opening up now. 18 points to 11. Surely this is Victor Axelsson's game. a little grimace from Axelson, but uh, then he just seemed to dismiss it himself and just say it's just one point. That was good. 13, 18. It was a very good display from Axelson yesterday of uh, self-control, controlling your own game, playing what you intend to play. Stick into the game plan. Oh! A big shout from Axelson as he edges closer still to securing this first game. to witness Lee Hyun Il having to go for that angle drop but uh, Victor Axelsson one step ahead well there it is he's already off Axelsson's gone Lee Hyun Il gives a little grin after 16 minutes of play first game secured for the young Dane. He wasn't so sure the Korean as to whether that was in. Axelson says job done. First set secured. 21 points to 13. But it's also hard for him, so if you don't begin to find something there, so for the minute you got this period, at the last it's a advantage for it has been hard, eh? You should hold discipline in the angrep. Slow line, slow no lie cut us, or slow in the mouth for him. Og så når du har gode chancer, så kan du godt gå på krydsen, men vent med dem. Du skal nok få point på dem til sidst. Okay? Og der er bare konceptet, så er vigtigt at tage modighed, som I synes, jeg havde til sidst også. Ja, lige præcis. Og så skal du tvinge dig selv frem hele tiden. Ja. Der sker ikke noget ned for de dybe hjørner. Nej, det er kun de kryds der. Ja. Det kan jeg godt se, at på. Ja, lige præcis. Øhm, og så klar på, når du spiller ham ind i banen nu her, så vil han komme med de der flade løft ned mod hjørnerne. Så der er det vigtigt, at du er klar med catcheren ja. på skuldrene, ikke? Ja. Rigtig dejlig variation, din server. Ja. Det er med det, ikke? Det er videre til. Ja, der har han sættet en tak på vej. Hvad er der? Sømmer sig, men faktisk er bare bare til at tage det her. そうするいいと思うんだよ。さっきから。ケース。ジニカが中途途で出てきた。あ、なんだ。ハロー。はい。あんたも。あ。ちょっと飲んでるんだ。ちょっと飲んでるんだ。ちょっと。ちょっと。
executed so far in the match. One, well, let's not forget that he is Korea's most successful men's single star. He's retired from the game on more than a number of occasions. But he says himself he's never really stopped training and the match experience that he's had recently and uh, earlier this year seems to have kept him sharp and he's still got the instincts and experience that he's gained throughout his career. But he left the Korean national team in 2007, citing weariness with the demanding lifestyle. And although he was back that time after just a few months, he retired again following each of the next two Olympic Games in Beijing and then London. And in both of those, he came up short in the bronze medal matches. But for this third return to the badminton world stage, well, he's taking up his racket once more. This time, though, the national team is not part of the equation. So when we saw the players speaking to their respective coaches at the interval, oh, sorry, after the first game, well, Victor Axelsson was talking to Kenneth Jonathan, who is the Danish national coach. But, uh, well, Lee Hyun Il just has his professional coach with him. And he's quite happy staying with badminton, while at the same time welcoming the end of the life that he had in the National Training Centre. Where even those with spouses and children have had to live in a common dormitory and share a room with a teammate. And he's, he's got he's married, he's got a young child. And he can live at home with his family now, a lot more freedom. He counts that as being very important in his life at the moment. And in charting, of course, independent of a thriving national team system, he's following a trend already familiar in places like Malaysia and Indonesia, but virtually unheard of in Korea. Four, three. Well, it was only just out, wasn't it? I think Lee Hyun Il oh. thought it was going to be netted. But it floated very close. Oh, it's long. And really, the most success that Lee Hyun Il has had is with his mixing up his choice of shots, changing direction rather than going for the battle of the pushes. He worked the shuttle well, though, in that exchange. Tying Axelson up in all sorts of knots. Another one goes long. Six, five. Well, again, it was so close, but the uh, the line judge seemed resolute when calling that. Magnificent save 
on the part of Lee Jun Il, but an equally delicious cross court smash from Axelson's racket. Here it is. Seizes the opportunity and stares his opponent down afterwards in celebration. Well, there's a look of uh, self satisfaction, I guess, there from the Danish corner. Look at that. Ten smash points to two. Well, it's been fairly even at, in the flat game. And I think that that's the key for Lee Hyun Il. If he can uh, keep the smash tally down and uh, try and claw his way back into this at the net. Well, the net kill was up for grabs there, but uh, slightly overcooked it, sending it wide. Well, it wasn't long, but he, it's been deemed that the racket hit the net. He hasn't hit the net at all, has he? He didn't hit the net. Nine, five. Well, the decision stands. Alan Grusolby upholds his decision, but uh, well, from the replay, suddenly it didn't look as if there was contact from the racket. Over. You see, unfortunately, the umpire cannot consult the video evidence and make a decision based on that. And that may prove significant in this second game. Oh, a miss hit from Axelson. Now, maybe Lee Hyun Il can channel some of his frustrations with that decision into his play. Gasp of uh, disappointment Eight. from the crowd Nine. after that failed and its attempt to get over the net. So the gap diminishes. One point separating these two now in the second game. On a second time of asking, the smash finds the ground. And Axelson puts a stop to that uh, little patch from Lee Hyun Il. It's wide. It's over. Nine, ten. Well, this is a very interesting point of the match where Victor Axelson will be attempting to hold on to his sense of self confidence and positivity. And Lee Hyun Il will be needing to increase his sense of self belief because time will start to come into this will begin to become a factor. Another error from Axelson. OK, well, level again, 10 points each. Axelson opting to change a racket. I think he's got a broken string there. There will obviously be a short hiatus for the interval. After the next point is scored. Well, number 212 in the world rankings does not sound that impressive, but South Korean Lee Hyun Il has a, a global...
plating, which doesn't really give the full picture at the moment. He's barely played any tournaments this year so far, but has just started his third comeback, as I said earlier, to the sport of badminton. And uh, took the title in the Korea Grand Prix gold last month against some impressive opponents. But if it's to uh, make anything of this encounter, right about now wouldn't be a bad time to mount yet another comeback of sorts. Well then, we just saw another example of the Korean taking control of a rally, and that's where I think he'll get more purchase. So, at the interval, the Korean leads by a solitary point in the second game of this men's singles final. Når du skal slå den væk. Og så få lidt flere af de der lige korte returer med. For han er rimelig klar på den der maskering, og så kommer du kryds net gennem den lidt. Der er masser af plads på den lige kort, så får du et godt løft. Så bliver ved at bruge de der lige angreb, og gerne hårdt på kroppen en gang imellem også. Så... Well, most of the points that Axelsen has won so far in the match have been uh, in the mid and the rear court, but... Uh, well, if Lee Jun Il can force more net play, I suspect that's where he'll get more success. Well, Chan. Now, can the Korean build something here? He needs a significant streak to put the pressure back on the Dane. And that is not going to do it. Well, there's a certain uh, swagger about Axelsen, isn't there? So sure of himself. He looks fairly confident of his protégé as well. It's almost as if he's uh, got the whole match mapped out, as well as his future. There's a very real ambition of achieving the heady heights of world number one, does Victor Axelsson, and sometimes when he's strutting around the court, well, it's difficult to believe that he won't at some point. Service over. 13, 14. Well, the error count has really gone up in the last uh, few moments on the part of Lee Kun Il. Sometimes that can be infectious. You can really feel a sense of tension in the hall now between the players amongst the crowd as well the odd cry out of support for the Dane, but uh, not the same 
energy or enthusiasm from the crowd as there was earlier. 15, 16. Yes. Maybe they're getting a bit nervous. Well, this young man, Victor Axelson, doesn't seem to be showing any sign of nerves whatsoever. Edges closer still to that elusive first Masters title. Victor Axelson very much holding his own against the 33-year-old Korean who has reached the heady heights of the top ten in the past in the world. Il committing yet another fault. Axelson making him wait. That's out. Well. Maybe Lee Hyun Il is running out of steam here. He's got to somehow hold on to a sense of hope. Because this young man, Axelson, he's not hoping, he's just believing. Well, there it is then. After 36 minutes. 19 years of age, Victor Axelsson, this young Danish rising star, has the opportunity, well, several opportunities to claim his first Copenhagen Masters title. It's wide, there are a few shouts from the crowd, a bit premature. It was wide, but he still has plenty of opportunity to convert and take this match. Oh, there it is. Magnificent and a huge celebration from Victor Axelsson. A yell of success. Congratulations to his opponent, Lee Hyun Il. But uh, an emphatic performance from Victor Axelsson on scintillating form. Very impressive indeed. Throws his racket into the crowd. A lucky person out there. May very well hold on to that because you're going to see a lot more of this Danish youngster in the future I'm sure what a performance from Victor Axelsson so after 37 minutes another straight sets victory for the world number 23 21 13 21 16 And there is the celebration, huge cry of joy. A truly remarkable and indeed authoritative performance from Victor Axelson. So let's have a look at the overall stats for that. The smash points say it all really, 13 to three. At every opportunity, Victor Axelson up the ante piled on the aggression and in the end came away with a most valid but uh, a resounding victory really it has to be said similar number of unforced errors between the two there wasn't much at stake or many points scored um, as part of the flat game at the net but uh, well 
It looked to me as if he believed from the very outset of the match that he was going to succeed, and succeed he has. So Lee Hyun Il thanking the crowd. I suspect we'll see quite a bit more of him as well as uh, the 2014 season continues. But uh, Victor Axelsson with a consummate performance. He is the men's singles Copenhagen Masters champion of 2013. And so the uh, respective checks are handed out. 20,000 Danish crowns for the runner-up and 30,000 Danish crowns for Victor Axelsson for taking the title itself. And the prize is being handed out by Rene Toft, the president of the Danish um, Badminton Federation, as well as Jens Dahl Hansen, the vice president of the Danish Badminton Federation. So there it is then. He's had a solid first half to 2013. He took three titles this season. Made the semis at the London Grand Prix gold. Quarter-finals at the Chinese Taipei Open. And uh, in Jana Jorgensen's absence, it was always a possibility that Victor Axelsson could have been a contender for this title. He's not a contender anymore. He is the champion himself. There's that huge celebration there. Just shows you how much it means to him. He was relishing the opportunity to perform in this unique setting and once he'd made it to the final, he couldn't wait to get back out here again and contend for the championship itself.